Hello everyone and welcome to a times table practice video. Today we're focusing on the 10 times table and I'm going to use my counting stick to practice counting forwards and backwards in tens before I start trying to remember some of those times table facts. Could you help me? Because as I put them onto my stick, I'd like you to shout the multiple out loud to practice counting forwards and backwards. We're going to start counting from zero today and we're going to go all the way up to 100. As I add them on, see if you can spot any patterns in the multiples of 10. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and finally, today we're going to stop counting at 100. Let's practice counting forwards and backwards, but it's your turn this time. I'm not going to say them. I'm just going to point and I want you to say them out loud as I do. Are you ready? Well done. Can you do it backwards? 100, 100. Well done. Have a look at them closely. Have you spotted any patterns? How many ones have they all got? That's right. All the multiples of 10 end in a zero. They've got zero ones. And that will help us, if we can remember that, that will help us when we do our times table facts. Should we start? I'm going to say some times table number sentences and I want you to shout out the answers. I'm going to start by pointing at the counting stick to help. Zero times ten is zero. One times ten is ten. Two times ten is twenty. Three times ten is thirty. Four times ten is forty. Five times ten is fifty. 6 times 10 is 60, 7 times 10 is 70, 8 times 10 is 80, 9 times 10 is 90, and 10 times 10 is 100. Let's change the order a little bit as well, and I'm not going to say the answer anymore, I just want you to shout them out. 2 times 10, 6 times 10, 4 times 10, 1 times 10, 0 times 10, 5 times 10, that one stays in the middle, 8 times 10, 9 times 10, 10 times 10, 6 times 10, 4 times 10. You'll notice that every time we multiply a number by 10, because 10 in itself has just one 10, then if we do 4 times 10, well, my answer has 4 10s and no 1s. If I do 6 times 10, then my answer has 6 10s and 0 1s. That's a good way to remember those multiples of 10. I'm going to start taking a few off now because you seem to be doing very well. I'm going to take off 0 times 10 because we know that is 0. Let's not let that one catch us out. I'm going to take away 1 times 10. That's 10. Uh, and I'm going to take away 2 times 10. Double 10 is 20. I'm going to take away 10 times 10. That is 100. And I think I'm going to take away 5 times 10 as well in the middle. 5 times 10 is 50. Remember that one's in the middle. Off we go. Let's see if you can remember them without them on the counting stick. 0 times 10 is 0. 1 times 10, 10. 2 times 10, 20. 3 times 10, 4 times 10, 5 times 10 is 50, 6 times 10, 7 times 10, 8 times 10, 9 times 10, 10 times 10 is 100. Great job. Let's take a few more of these off. You're doing so well. 3 times 10 is 30, 4 times 10 is 40. 
And I'm going to take off 9 times 10 as well. 9 times 10 is 90. Okay. Let's see if you can remember them. I'm going to muddle the order up a little bit as well. 4 times 10 is 40. 2 times 10 is 20. 1 times 10 is 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 6 times 10 is 60. 8 times 10 is 80. 7 times 10 is 70. 9 times 10 is 90. And 10 times 10 100. Great job. I think you're definitely ready for me to take them all off now. Let's take away 6 times 10 is 60. 7 times 10 is 70. And 8 times 10 is 80. Off we go. Let's see how you get on. 0 times 10 is 0. 4 times 10 is 40. 6 times 10 is 60. 10 times 10 is 100. 5 times 10, 50. 9 times 10, 90. 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 8 times 10, 80. 7 times 10, 70. 3 times 10 is 30. And 10 times 10, is 100 well done i wonder just before we move on to the chili challenges whether any of you are feeling confident enough to shout out some of the answers without me even touching the counting stick i'm going to put it down two times ten is twenty five times ten fifty nine times ten ninety and seven times ten is seventy you've worked really hard Let's have a go at some chilli challenges. Here is today's chilli challenges, all linked to the 10 times table. We've got some number sentences for you to work out at the top, like the ones we've just been doing on the counting stick. If you'd like to challenge yourself, hopefully you can do two chilli or have a good go and work out which numbers are missing here in my number sentences. I've given you the answers. See if you can work out what these first numbers should be. Maybe you could work out what 11 and 12 times 10 are because I don't have those on my counting stick. And finally, a real challenge for you here, have a think about what we know about the multiples of 10. And it says, is 201 a multiple of 10? And how do you know? Look really closely at the number and think about what you know about place value, about the hundreds, tens and ones, and see if you can explain whether that is a multiple of 10 or not. If I keep counting them zero in tens, I'm going to say 201. Okay, good luck. Pause the video now to have a little go, either on a scrap piece of paper or a whiteboard or in your books, and then play the video again when you've finished, and we'll look at some answers together. Good luck. Hi again. Are you ready to look at some answers? Let's do them together. So, can you remember what 2 times 10 is? 20. 6 times 10? Well, that's 60, I know. If 10 has 1 10, and I've got 6 lots of that, then it's going to be 6 tens and 0, 1, 60. And then 10 times 10, that's 100. Well done if you remembered those when we did them on the counting stick. Who had a go at chilli too? Did you manage to work out which numbers were missing? What Do I have to multiply by 10 to give me a product of 30? Well, I can see there that this answer has got three tens, so it must be three lots of ten. That must be my number sentence. Three times ten is thirty. How many tens has my answer got here? That's got eight tens, so that must be eight times ten equals eighty. How did you get on with these two that weren't on my counting stick? Eleven times ten. Well, remember, if I multiply my, if I partition this again, I've got my 10 first, 1 10. So if I multiply it by 11, that will give me 11 tens. And then 11 times 0 ones, well, that's going to be a 0 as well. So actually, I've crossed the hundreds then. And that number is 110. And then to work out 120, I could add another 10 to that one. Or to work out 12 times 10, sorry, I just told you the answer. To work out 12 times 10, I could either add on an extra 10 there or. I could partition this again. 10 times 10 is 100. 
2 times 10 is 20, 100 add 20 leaves me with 120. Well done if you got those, those weren't easy. And I wonder whether you had to think about this one for me as well. Is 201 a multiple of 10? Well done if you said no, because if you remember at the start, we noticed that all the multiples of 10 have zero ones. That means they end in a zero, but 201 ends in a one. It's got two hundreds, zero tens, but it's got one one, which means it is not a multiple of 10. Okay, well done if you got those. Well done for your efforts. Keep practicing hard. Keep saying those tens whenever you can. If you want some practice counting forwards and backwards, there's a great website called Scratch Card, scratchgarden.com, which has got lots of fantastic counting videos, very funny as well, that will help you practice as well. Or keep coming back to the counting stick. Well done, keep up the hard work, and see you again soon.